Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out the portable cassette player market and uh, even though I already have a Sony Walkman this one here is the WM-F41 I really want to see what the market is like for somebody who wants to purchase something new in box versus uh, something old like let's say this Walkman but if you're interested in taking a look at this product I'll leave a link down below in the description box for the uh, video I did for it and the company I purchased it from but uh, if you someone that doesn't want to spend too much money on a cassette player or you just want something that's new in box uh, these are the two options that I've chosen for today uh, we have the uh, Byron Statics portable cassette player and then we have the Jensen Stereo FM cassette player I think it also has AM AM band yes it does so we're gonna go ahead and check both of these out and hopefully by the end of the video I'll be able to uh, recommend either one of these two depending on how they perform and how well they do so with that said let's go ahead and get started alright so here we have our first player on the list the Byron Statics and it claims to have a built-in speaker AM FM radio and an integrated microphone and it includes earphones now this particular model is in teal but at the time of purchase they didn't have any of the other colors in stock except pink so I did go for the teal color and uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside inside you do have your earphones which are going to be pretty standard with these uh, cheap cassette players or should I say inexpensive cassette players I'm going to go ahead and set that aside and then on the inside you do have a little instruction manual here so here we have the player out of the box and uh, right away it feels very nice in the hands it's got a very nice color to it I'm actually uh, happy that I did pick the uh, teal color of course it would have been nice to get the silver or the other colors but uh, teal is perfectly fine on the front of the player we do have our mono speaker there and uh, the Byron Statics logo there with the uh, AM FM radio bands and I have to say it looks very nice right here with this little piece of plastic because it looks like it's uh, almost floating it's got that really nice colored edge there if you get what I'm saying that little light leak there from the plastic it looks very nice and it says here FM or AM FM radio recorder and cassette player now don't be fooled by the name it cannot record from the radio or from an external source it can only record your voice we have our play record stop fast forward and our rewind button over here we have a uh, volume wheel and uh, the VAS switch VAS stands for voice activated system and that basically means that when you do have it on and you hit record it's not gonna start recording until it hears your voice and it's gonna stop recording once it stops hearing your voice now I'm not gonna be uh, recording any cassettes and my voice with this cassette player because that would be unfair to the uh, other cassette players we're comparing it to which is of course the Jensen and uh, my Sony Walkman here which both lack recording functionality but it's not like this uh, recorder is gonna be any good anyway so uh, taking a look at the top here we do have our tuning dial right here in the middle we have our headphone jack our tape radio selecting switch and our AM FM band switch and we have a little hole here so we can uh, stick our finger in there and open the cassette mechanism up on the bottom here you do have a micro USB port this here so you can power it off the uh, wall outlet if you want to if you don't want to run it off batteries but if you do want to run it off batteries just battery compartment there and it does have a belt clip there and if you see this little tiny hole right here you would get a jeweler screwdriver stick it in there be very careful not to short anything in there and just twist it and that would adjust the speed of the mechanism if it's too fast or too slow I'm not going to be doing anything like that just because I want to see if it plays too fast out of the box or if it plays too slow anyway we're going to go ahead and open it up and take a look at the tape mechanism which is of course a tenishin tape mechanism or a tenishin like tape mechanism just because I don't know if it's a, a authentic tenishin or it's a clone of the tenishin but if you look for any cassette players post 1988 you're more than likely gonna find a tenishin mechanism being used as a primary method of playing cassette tapes if that makes any sense but uh, the reason why I did purchase two cassette players was because I didn't know if this one was mono and uh, we're gonna go ahead and find out if it's mono or not and if it is that already kind of uh, creates a little deal breaker for me so I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you 
the uh, cassette mechanism as best as I can. And I'm sad to report that this here is a mono playhead. Now you can tell it's mono because that little box in the middle of the playhead does not have a line through it. And I'll show you what a stereo playhead looks like right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this over just a little. But on the left, you should see the mono playhead, and on the right, you should see the stereo playhead. So you can see that the stereo has like a little line going through it. It's almost like, looks like it's cut in half. But honestly, if you don't care about either mono or stereo playback, and you just want it for the aesthetic, uh, perhaps maybe you don't really mind too much. And here we have the next player on our list, the Jensen Stereo Cassette Player with AM FM radio. It is in a limited edition color, although it's just black and silver. And uh, this one here claims to have a line-out jack, a headphone jack, a detachable belt clip, and it's of course claiming to be stereo, so we'll see about that. And of course we'll take a look at the playhead. You can go ahead and read through that if you like. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. And right away we get the same pair of earbuds that were in the other uh, Byron Statics cassette players. Up next we have our instruction guide and we have our player. Now this one here is not as aesthetically pleasing as the Byron Statics, but I mean if you're not really going for aesthetics and really want a stereo player, perhaps maybe the Jensen is the right one for you. There are the AM FM radio bands, which should be the same as the ones on the Byron Statics. And then on the side here, we just have play, stop, and fast forward. In order to rewind a tape on this one, you gotta go the old school way and take it out, flip it around, fast forward it once it gets to the end, flip it around again and hit play. Moving on, we do have our volume dial here, as well as our radio and tape select mechanism, which, but on the top here, you do have a headphone jack as well as a line out jack, so you can hook this up to, uh, let's say, a computer and you can record your cassettes in full stereo sound. And we have a tuning dial for the AM FM radio and the FM AM uh, dial or switch here, so you can select be between the two different bands. Here's the clip which claims to be detachable. I'm not even gonna bother with it. But under it, you see a little hole there. That's the hole so you can control the speed of the cassette player in case it's too fast or too slow. But again, like I said, I'm not gonna be adjusting any of that. Now, in the interest of having a fair comparison, both of these cassette players are using the same brand of batteries and they're both using fresh sets of batteries, so there's no discrepancy in power and uh, other sort of things that have to do with uh, power output, alkaline, and stuff like that. So they're both using the same batteries, and they're both fresh set of batteries. Now, in order to uh, compare both of these, I'm gonna be using uh, two cassettes. I'm gonna be using this uh, single cassette single from Louder Milk, and uh, this one because uh, it is a little newer and is cleaner, but I'm also gonna be using this cassette here, which is from uh, Reader's Digest, Wolfgang Mozart. This one here, the reason why I'm using it is because it's still sealed in its package, so it's never been played. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays this cassette and how it plays the Louder Milk one. And of course, comparing it up against my Walkman and my very own uh, personal stereo system.
What you just heard were audio samples from all three of these cassette players, plus my JVC stereo system, which I just threw in there as a little uh, master recording kind of thing. This is what the cassette is supposed to sound like, and we can compare it to all three of these. But uh, to be honest with you, if you're not on a budget and you have a little bit of money to spend, I would suggest looking for an old period-specific Walkman, whatever other brand of cassette player you like, just because it, you get that little excitement of using a uh, Walkman or an old cassette player. But if you're on a budget or you're looking for just to get into the hobby and trying to test the waters, I would actually go for the Jensen, just because this one is stereo. It's got that stereo player, it's got that line input jack there, so you can go ahead and connect this up to your computer if you like, and uh, copy over all of your cassettes. It doesn't have audio recording, which is perfectly fine. This one has it, but it's probably going to sound horrible. And the fact that this one is mono, just, uh, I mean, if you don't really care about your music, sure, get this one if you like the style and the look of this one. But if you care about your music, I would suggest going for either the Jensen, or spending a little more money and getting a the Walkman. But other than that, whichever one you end up getting, it's all based on your personal preferences. I just showed you right now what all three of these sound like, and uh, whatever you pick is up to you. It's your player. If you want to look cool, probably this one. If you want to look hipster, probably this one. If you don't really care about either of those, but do care about the sound quality, I would suggest going for these. And just as an aside, all three of these play the radio. I did not record the radio just for the simple fact that it's hard to actually hear uh, a difference between all four players when the radio is constantly playing different songs, it's playing different ads. The audio samples you heard were the four, were the same two cassettes over and over, so you can kind of flip through both of them and try to feel which one is best for you depending on the sound profile. But, but whichever one you ultimately choose is all up to you. Whichever one you do choose, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And uh, I'll leave links to both of these and even the Sony Walkman there if you want to check that out as well. With that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.